Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we have a beautiful sunset in progress. Look at that. And look at what I'm wearing. I have a cape. I went to Minecon. It was just this past weekend. I have a cold, which I probably picked up from Minecon. I kind of half expected I would. Um, but uh, I just wanted to... Oh, that's a neat screenshot right there. Okay. That's very good. Okay, let me get out of this mode. Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Turn back on my heads up display. Hey, buddy, why don't you come downstairs with me? It's been almost a month since I recorded anything on here. Um, the last few weeks have been kind of busy. Um, haven't. Oh, hey, buddy, how are you? Oh, that was cute. Okay. Um, haven't. Uh, really talked much about why uh, it's all kind of sad and, and uh, not great but uh, a couple weeks ago two and a half weeks ago my father had a stroke it wasn't his first stroke he had another one uh, about 12 years ago that was pretty serious uh, he recovered pretty well from that and um, and so uh, when I when we he he didn't show up for dialysis one day um again about two and a half weeks ago and so i uh ended up getting a call from the police who were doing a welfare check on him because the dialysis place called and said hey we haven't seen our patient lonnie um blah 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 uh and they found him uh laying on the floor inside the house uh, so I drove up. He was in pretty bad shape. And, um, but was making progress and was stable enough that they moved him to a, uh, a skilled nursing facility where he was recovering. Uh, but then, uh, while I was at Minecon on Saturday, I received a call from them saying that they had found him in his room unresponsive and that they were unable to revive him. So, so... That put uh, that put a bit of a damper on on Minecon. Um, I'm glad I had the distraction of Minecon because uh, otherwise I would have just been sitting at home, just you know thinking about thinking about it. Um, and there wasn't really much for me to do. Um, he his wishes were that he be cremated, so he is in the hands of the Neptune Society. I've been talking with them. I will have to go up at some point and help with preparing the house and making sure that everything's okay. But there wasn't a lot for me to do. I didn't need to like rush up right away. So, so anyway, um, I did spend Sunday at Minecon, not feeling super awesome, but at the same time, it was great being able to be around people who love Minecraft the way I do and. I got to talk to some people who I might not otherwise have talked to um, and some YouTubers who I feel like I know because I watch their videos. Uh, of course, they don't know who I am, but, um, but you know, I got to talk to DocM77 and thank him for uh, hosting the Realm server because I got to meet some people uh, because of that. Um, and I got to talk to Kurt J. Mack about his fundraising for and, and sort of how he grew his audience. And his audience has grown considerably since he started fundraising. Um, and I talked to him about the fact that I would like to start raising money using Minecraft for the National MS Society, which is a cause that's obviously close to my heart. And uh, yeah, well, so I talked to Adam. Um, Adam Clark, Wizard King, a little bit, because I really appreciate the sort of educational uh, uses of Minecraft that he's trying to find, and, and some of the maps that he highlights that are educational in their in their nature. So, anyway, it was nice being able to interact with with some people who I know of and I look up to and I find inspiring, but uh, never really been able to sort of interact with before and I think it was 
um, uh, refreshing or different for them, at least for me to be, you know, a grown person saying, Hey, I think the work you're doing is great and not, uh, Hey, will you sign my sword? And they love signing the swords and they love signing autographs because that's their fans. And that's the people who allow them to do what they do. Um, so they don't, I'm not saying that they, they dislike that, but I think having a different kind of interaction is, is a helpful thing or a refreshing thing for them as well. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Minecon, um, we got our capes. They went out. Yeah, what's going on? Why can't, oh, there we, go. the capes went out on, uh, woohoo. And I don't have my elytra yet, so I don't, I haven't found the replacement yet. So I don't, uh, I haven't seen these on the elytra. I haven't gone into creative to, uh, to do that yet. But anyway, it's a very cool cape and the bag, the goodie bag looks just like the cape, which I think is typical. I think that's what happened last year for London at least. So that was pretty cool. Um, I, I worked as an agent. I helped pack the goodie bags and I helped check people in. I was supposed to work on Sunday, but with, with my dad's, uh, my dad's passing, I, I don't think, and, and they agreed that I, that I was really up for standing for eight hours in the punch a tree attraction or activity, helping kids punch large cardboard trees. Um, so, uh, so anyway, uh, so I, I was able to attend a couple panels on Sunday, which was very cool. Um, the, you probably I've been standing here yammering away at you. This is a slime farm or the start most of a slime farm I have another layer to go here Woohoo um, And it's been working. It's been productive. Let's go take a look this whole Area down here. I don't <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I picked up a cold Probably at Minecon, Um the con crud or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm I'm playing hooky I'm not at work today. Look at that there's some that's just me working on the farm just building it so i've been doing it uh i don't have a beacon over here which would really help but uh so i've been building it from the bottom up i kind of dug down to where bedrock starts put in my bottom layer with the with the chests and hoppers and then started putting in these up here i think i i think i did it in a pretty smart way i learned a bit from the last one I built last season where I had, you know, I had four chunks there. Uh, I only have two here. Uh, so I'm at, where am I at here? I'm at 35. So I've got a few more. Uh, I, I can get another layer in up here. Excuse me. Um, so, and then I'll, I'll put on the, the roof here. I've been lining the whole thing in stone bricks because this side over there is, uh, I kind of ran into one of Riskensi's uh, mines, uh, his one of his mine shafts, but it was pretty high up and he didn't actually go that far. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem. He wasn't anywhere near diamond level. So, um, and he hasn't logged on in a while. So I, I need to talk with him and make sure that he knows that I did this. And hopefully, if he runs into stone bricks, it's it'll be a clear sign to him that oh wait, there's something behind here. Be careful. So let's uh let's show you what I've got down at the bottom. Woohoo! Plop. So I've got uh, water source blocks along here, flowing, and then drop down. Plop. And then this whole thing is three blocks above this, so the big slimes have a space to flow underneath here. And then uh, I put in enough terraces here so that the water actually gets down to my bottom layer. So I've got three terraces. And I decided to make these platforms the size of the entire chunk. Uh, and then put three blocks, the margin for them to fall, the slimes to fall around the outside of it. And what I had done before was only dug out the chunk area itself and then put the margin inside the chunk, which reduced the number of spawning spaces. And that's kind of how I had built or am building on um, on Chihuahua land. And I may go back and sort of change that a little bit there. But anyway, so this is two whole chunks. And instead of putting a break between them, I just joined them together. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's gross. Um, and I kind of did the same thing where it's 
the platforms are two blocks tall, so I could put lights. In this case, I use glowstone because I'm getting lots of glowstone, unlocking the the cleric villagers. Uh, to put light on the on the layer below, so nothing spawns there except the slimes because they spawn regardless of, of light. Oh, look at that! We got one, and he'll go down, and they can swim against the current somewhat. Um, they do eventually. They do eventually lose, um, and they will because they just kind of turn in random directions. And there he goes. Woohoo! He gets the cactus. Uh, so it's there's more space down here. I might have been able to get another layer down here, but actually I don't think so. So I'll get in. I think I can get in one more. So one, two, three, four, five, six layers, which should do pretty decent. And then down around here, instead of doing what I had done before, which is put a layer of hoppers underneath, I just kept it all at this layer because I wanted to keep it down as low as I could. So I have a little hopper chain that goes and into here. And there's a chest back there, which is the one we looked at on the other side of this wall. Uh, to keep all the water flowing, I did something different. Um, I actually dug into the sides here two blocks in and put my water source blocks along there and left these corners in place. And that works really well. And actually I designed the ring of cactus. Uh, my plan was to put in these, put in the terraces, and then put water around, you know, my water source blocks along here and then underneath in my little notch and see the area that the water didn't cover. And it ended up covering everything just exactly. So I was able to put in just this wall of cactus has to be zigzagged of course because you can't put cactus next to each other and the hoppers surrounding the whole thing so i get all the uh all the slime balls so this works pretty good and i like the lighting down here the mood is really hello let's uh hi yes i know you want me but too bad what was that when the that medium slime these are sort of died it almost looked like there was a creeper that appeared momentarily i'm going to have to keep an eye on that that might be a bug interesting okay well i thought i heard another slime where is he there he is Let's see if he, let's get him into the water. So anyway, this is, I've been working on this. This is a lot of work without a beacon. Um, turn around. Oh, you want me. Okay, let me get out of your range. Ugh. There you are. You can die now. No, you know what? That must have been the little tiny guys popping up behind him. Okay. I'll have to go look at the video to be sure, but um, we look like we're okay. So anyway, you can see it's working. And I don't need a ton of slime. Of course, I always say that, and then I always want a ton of slime. But, um, yeah, uh, I don't necessarily want a ton of slime. I just want to be able to have some, because um, I found those three ocean monuments out by the uh, the, the Mushroom Island. And uh, I'm going to want to take those down. I'm going to want a good no amount of slime blocks to take along with me. So, So, anyway, there's that. Um, one other thing to show you, try and keep this reasonably short, um, over by the villager area. Oh, so I have to figure out what to do about this. Uh, this is all sort of temporary storage, all, all the blocks that I've dug out and blocks to work with. Um, and been finding a decent amount of iron along the way, which is kind of exciting and necessary because I need, I need, uh, um, trap chests which require a little bit of iron over here so this is my the villager area over here this is how close they are when I'm over working on the slime farm 
this mob farm is in fact active and you can see oh look all the spiders uh, okay <laughs> oh okay I thought that was sitting on top of the hoppers it's active and so this thing has been filling up like crazy and I've, I've been adding chests over here and the chests are getting filled up so I have multiple double chests of this stuff here and that's I just it's I I I don't know I have too much I have more than I can do with so I started digging out of oh, this area back here and I want to put a storage room here like a huge honking storage room uh, and I have to figure out whether I'm going to do something and that ladder there's a little bit of a uh, pain I wonder if I take out this one will that well I still get caught on it nope well I get caught on but okay that's good much better I had ha I had <coughs> half slabs in here so I could see in without adding in light, but the light doesn't really matter. Oh, there's an invisible spider right there. Um, and and the skeletons were shooting me through it, so that's not as, as they were falling and dying, they were shooting me on their way down. It was pretty pretty crazy. Huh. So, um, so yeah, storage room. What I might do, because right now all the the hoppers feed into here, and what I could do is rearrange it so the hoppers feed into the back. That should be relatively easy to do without too much difficulty. And then pop in here, and then I create an item elevator and have a sorter or something, which is going to need more room. But I think I have plenty of room over here. There's nothing. It's just mountain. I'm in the I'm or underground. It's not that bad. Uh oh, slime. You get out of here. I have to figure out how to keep these guys from spawning. Because I think. Ah, oh, come on. There's another giant one in here. This is crazy. Go spawn in the farm. Oh. And I get a decent amount of slime balls just from getting the slimes in here, but I think I haven't confirmed it, but let's see. I think this is a slime chunk, meaning they can spawn here, and they can they can't spawn here because this is slabbed. And maybe I should just slab this area here to minimize the amount of area. But they come and they trample my crops, and so when I'm over at the slime farm, they shouldn't spawn too much because it's pretty far away. But um, it it does happen, and so I'll come here, and there will be trampled crop spaces that I have to repair. I've got my fortune farming wooden axe here, my fortune three wooden axe. Um, and I need to put my diamond hoe of farminess in up here. So I, yeah, that's a little annoying. So anyway, this thing's working fantastically, uh, as you can see. And uh, let's put that up in there. So uh, I probably have most of what I need. I would like to be able to start taking uh, these bones and making bone blocks out of them because I haven't played with the bone blocks yet. And this thing was sort of in the way when I was building the mob farm. It's totally in the way now. And I'm not sure I need an enchanting table down here anyway. But I may just move it back one step or move it over. I don't know. I have plenty of room. Plenty of room down here. Um, and I may, in, in fact, move things a little bit. And maybe build a automatic sugarcane farm. Because this gives a pretty decent amount of sugarcane, but it's a little bit of work. So. Uh, 1.11. They announced the new features at Minecon. And um, I missed the... Dude! Um, I, I did not 
attend the uh, the 1.11 panel. Um, I wanted to, but I didn't want to get up at the crack of dawn to get to the convention center in time for it because it was the first thing in the morning on Sunday. So I slept in a little bit. Okay. And that, uh, but of course I've seen all, I've seen the, the summaries and all the videos and everything. I, I just downloaded it this morning, tested the, the dog, shooting the dog in the back of the boat bug. It still is present in that version. They have not addressed it yet. And I found another bug where dogs sitting in boats, when you hold up uh, a steak or some food that they're interested in, they do not turn towards the player. They look to their right, no matter which way you are standing. So I opened up another bug on the, the Moyang bug tracker for that one. So anyway, I think that's it. I, I haven't done a whole lot more. Um, I haven't built the collection system out of the, the gold farm yet, but it's a great way of repairing tools. It's so freaking fast. Um, I haven't uh, I haven't set up the nether path out to the, the place where I need to be for the mushroom, the portal that I set up on the mushroom farm. Hello? Um, so I've got, I've got, I've got work to do. So I'm going to stay home today. I've got a meeting, um, a, a, a work call that I need to, that I need to try and be on, uh, this afternoon. But other than that, I'm going to sit and watch TV and YouTube videos and that whole hillside is completely dark. I need to go light that. That's probably where my zombie sounds were coming from. Yeah. Oh, well, look. What is that? Ah, it's somebody wearing enchanted armor, maybe? Okay. So anyway, that's that's what my day is going to be. I'm just trying to nurse my cold, and I don't know. I always, f I can never keep it straight if it's feed a cold, starve a flu, or vice versa. But whatever. Well, uh, I need to get some food in me because I'm a little hungry. Oh, hello! I hear somebody shooting at me. Where is the skeleton? Is that the skeleton I was seeing up over there? Probably. Okay. Oh, no, there's a skeleton down there. Hello, dude. Oh, you're in the water. There we go. Let's start putting some lights up here. All right. Well, that's it. I just wanted to show you that. And uh, uh, when I figure out what I'm going to do for my little storage area, I'll record some more and let you know. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. This is Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.